Ghana. But the only difference that Elijah was not alone. Elijah had an altar which he covered with water. 450 men against one man with water. This evening, I have come to say to you that you and the water, you are the majority. I don't know who is standing against you. I don't know how powerful they are. I don't know what arms they are holding. But I came to say to you, you and the water are the majority. You and the water are the majority. I don't know what they are carrying. Maybe it is chariots. Maybe it is swords. But I am here to say to you, you and the water, you are the majority. Don't you know that when Haggai was thrown out by Abraham, she was given nothing. They used her. They threw her out with only a bottle of water. She had no money. She had no food. She had nowhere to go. But I am here to tell you that water became a great nation. That water turned her son into the richest man in the world. I am here to tell you today you and the water you are the majority I don't know who's standing up against you. And I don't know what they are carrying. But I want to assure you that you and the water, you are the more powerful. People may have threatened you. They may look so powerful. They may look so honorable. But today, I want you to understand that you with the water you are more powerful Elijah was from the cave he was worn out he had hidden himself for long it was bad feeding him he was weak in his body. Some people look at you now. They say we have finished her. See the way she looks. She's even skinny. Because when they see you. It's as if you're standing alone. But I want to assure you. You with the water. You are the majority. Tell your neighbor he who is with me. Is more powerful. Than those who are against me. When I'm a you with the water. You are the majority. People. They may. Someone may want you to beg them. You may plead with them. That you may kneel and beg. But yet they forget. That you and the water. You may be here wondering who will stand with me, who will support me, who will add value on me. I want to assure you, you and the water, you are the majority. The angel appeared to a young girl who was a virgin. Told her you shall give her to a savior. She said, How shall it be? I know no man. I have no man. Nobody can sleep with me. The angel told her, Don't come in. You with the Holy Spirit, you are more powerful. The Holy Spirit is going to Come on you. And you come you. you shall conceive and give back to the change of the world. I come to tell you, don't despise yourself anymore. People, let people put you down. Let people use you. You are the water of the Holy Spirit. You are the majority. 
Tell you never you can't manage me. I may be a small person. But you know why I'm here? The water has not forsaken me. The water has not forsaken me. I am the water. We are more powerful. These men were healthy and big. And the king of that land was feeding them. They used to sit on the queen's table. They, he was standing against them. But Elijah said before this contest I want you to note this That this Are 450 men And I am all by myself That word separation Is the altar with water That separates us We are not dry What distinguishes me Is the bottle of water we are carrying you wonder nobody knows me nobody knows me in state house nobody can take me by the hand I want to assure you the greatest connection in the world is the Holy Spirit say I with the water we are the majority stop bleeding and begging people stop kneeling and bowing you are a mighty man when you have the Holy Spirit you don't need numbers you need an audience when you have the Holy Spirit you don't need fighters you need an audience Elijah showed up Call the entire Israel Not because I want them to fight with me Not because I want them to help me But I want them to sit as an audience Say invite the entire nation One with water Just need the audience I came to tell you tonight They have started sitting They are sitting on your village Office, you are in your office they are watching you are your friends are sitting he prepares for me a table and take it, take it a before my enemies he anoints my head with oil my cup overflows my cup overflows he anoints my head with oil he anoints your head and he prepares for you a table before your enemies you with the Holy Spirit you just need the audience they are sitting for my sake they are sitting to watch he said call the entire Israel let them sit and I will perform the concert if you have the power of the Holy Spirit you don't need many people to fight with you you just need an audience of people because God prepares a table for you in the presence of your audience they sat they began to watch and the false prophets began they jumped up and down raving and ranting they even got on the side he told them shout louder you praise and worship you praise louder for you your God. jump higher and higher maybe your God is blind your God may have taken a walk let me give you more time all was in vain brethren we have given religion a lot of time we have given the witches and wizards time we have given witchcraft enough time Elijah showed up and said it was about evening time he said you people have shouted all day long 
Now I request you. There are many minutes to the end of the day. I didn't intervene and intercede. I gave you time to share. But I request in the remaining few minutes, give me space to bring water. Brethren, we have given religion enough time. We have given witches and wizards time. We have given matres enough time. He didn't waste time shouting. He didn't jump a bit. He didn't even shout or sing. What he spent time on was one thing. He spent time with water. He got water and he poured it the first time. He told, I request a second time to pour. I request to pour water on the third time. After the third time, the God that answers by fire descended and answered by fire. Brethren, the God that answers by fire. And this remaining time you spent here seeking the Holy Spirit at the river of the Holy Spirit the God that answers by fire let he be your God. Burning every evil in your mind. Burning every weakness in your body. In this remaining little time. The Holy Spirit fire. Let it descend in your home. Let it descend in your marriage. Let it descend in your body. Let it descend in your issues. God who answers by fire. Let him be our God. Elijah did not waste time shouting. Religious people and witches they had spent the entire day. But Elijah just poured water on the water and God answered. You won't wait the way your father waited. You will not wait like your brother Concerning the Holy Ghost, no more waiting. Just pouring the water. For the God who answers my fire. Let him be our God. See Elijah. The one who was hiding in the cave. God showed and revealed himself. The water brought something tangible. Yes, we have sung, brethren. We have become like prophets of God. We have shouted aloud. We have become like prophets of God. We have the water bring a tangible presence. It was a tangible presence. Let God descend. Let him answer by fire. Let him burn your enemies. Let him burn those rising against you. God who answers by fire. Let him be your God. Tell your neighbor who told you I'm waiting any longer. My father waited a long time. He was a religious man. My grandpa waited. He was a witch. My siblings waited. They had but trees. But I. In this remaining little time. Tell your neighbor we have given them enough time. 
We've been hiding in caves. Even the great, the powerful people know them. They don't know you. But the time has come. The Lord told Elijah Now come out show, show yourself to your enemy Tell him I've come out for the red the time for hiding The time of lagging behind Has come to an end Has come to an end I've come to tell you come out of hiding Engage your enemy Tell him I've come out But the rain is coming I've come out But even the rain is coming I've come out But even the rain is coming Thank you Jesus People spoke. They say we know. The God of Elijah. He is the real God. Remember before he began, he told them decide which God to serve. Are you serving Baal? Or will you serve the Lord God? Scripture said they were silent, never answered the word. Brethren, you've been preaching to your family members. They have been silent. But in their hearts they say you're mad. We came back to her. We educated her. She went to school. But she's not now. Oh, we lost her. But they've been silent. But this one time, Elijah didn't say a word. Uh-huh. The moment they also they fight, they say war to us. The God of Elijah, He is God. You won't speak a lot. They will see what God will do for you. They will see a house you build for you. They will see how He has healed you. They will see Him cast out demons. They will see how your children will be looking like. They will say, Now we know. His God is the Lord. No more saying a lot. And no more being silent. You've preached to them. But they've been silent. They say thank you. But in their hearts. You know what they're thinking about. Oh. This girl became nice. We, we lost her. This entire girl. No more being silent. They'll come by themselves. They'll say your God. Surely is the Lord your God is the Lord you with the word of the Holy Ghost you are the majority David said do not take thy Holy Spirit from you because the Holy Spirit is everything to me Bible says the fire when people saw fire descending even Elijah rose up he commanded the king he told them these prophets these false prophets that have a God who cannot speak a word they are not escaping alive the God of Israel doesn't permit a witch to live you're angry about that (laughs) because his first mission is to preach to them preach for them to get transformed and changed but the word of God says you shall not suffer a witch to live amongst you 
told him even this one that you know the Lord God let us take them down the river let us slaughter them down there the people who are selling to slaughter the prophets these were the prophets eating on the table of Ahab the ones he said to be slaughtered they were the friends to the wife of the king but Ahab hearkened so who was the king between them Elijah or Ahab now Elijah was giving orders brethren the Lord is promoting you to other places you are going to give orders to whoever you are going to lay down laws in your family you are going to begin to put laws in your family the Lord is promoting you to higher level not because of voting you not by your power but because the Lord is going to do for you all people will desire you to speak into their lives he told him the king said Elijah sir I've heard as if he, had, he would not go back home because these were dear friends of the wife the very people who didn't know the God to serve they seized the false prophets and they slaughtered them they broke them down they killed them at the river I declare now in this very time Uganda now that you know the living God Bring all your wishes to the river. Bring them a choice at the river. Bring them a choice at the river. You have to slaughter the people. If you want to give a big amount to the world, you have to be charm. There is no force. You have to go to Israel. That remain in Israel. Stand in God's Israel. Begin slaughtering them. In your clan. In your home. Demons in your ancestors. Demons among your siblings. Now that you know the living God, bring them at the river. They don't have to live a lie. Cut them down. Slaughter them. Destroy them. All equal All my choices. Cut them down. He said, bring them to the river. Scripture says, none of them survived. Of all the false prophets, that day, none of them survived. The fire of the Holy Ghost, after it has come down, no demon will survive. No demon will survive. No demon will stay. No demon will stay. Tell your neighbor, demons won't remain. Demons from my aunties. Demons from my grandma. That were planted at graveyards. All of them. We destroy and uproot them. Never to come back. In the name of Jesus. Cut them. Cut them. Use them. Tear them. The God who answers by fire. 